Moving on to our first example, we are going to find the surface area of a brick that has the following dimensions. It has the length to be 10 cm, breadth to be 4 cm and height to be 3 cm. That is length of your brick is 10 and breadth is 4 and height is 3. Let us see the options. Option A is 154 cm square, option B is 156 cm square, option C is 160 cm square and option D is 164 cm square. So to find the surface area of a brick, here the brick has the shape of a cuboid. Hence to find the surface area of a cuboid, you have the formula over here as 2 into LB plus BH plus LH square units. Simply we have to substitute our length, breadth and height into this formula. So the equation will be like this. 2 into 10 into 4 plus 4 into 3 plus 3 into 10 centimeter square. 10 into 4 is 40, 4 into 3 is 12 and 3 into 10 is 30. Summing up you get 82 multiplied by 2 you get 164 centimeter square. Thus your answer is option D. 164 cm square. Moving on to our next interesting example. Well, this is important as well. It has appeared in TCS, CTS, and HCS. We have a boat of length 3 meter and breadth 2 meter, and it is floating on a lake. And the boat sinks by 1 cm when a man gets into it. So what will be the weight of the man? Let us see the options. 50 kg, 60 kg, 80 kg and 70 kg. So as given in the question we have the length of the boat to be 3 meter and breadth to be 2 meter and the boat sinks by 1 centimeter which can be converted into 0 0.01 meter as we know 1 meter is nothing but 100 centimeter so it is converted as 0 0.01 meter we have to calculate the mass of the man so to find the mass of the man we have to simply calculate the volume of the water displaced and multiply it with the density of the water so what will be the volume of the water displaced Volume of the water displaced can be multiplied to the density of the water to obtain the mass of the man and the volume of the water displaced is obtained by the formula length into breadth into height. So the volume of the water displaced is nothing but length is 3 meter, breadth 2 and height 0 0.01. Your answer is 0 0.06 meter cube. As we know, the density of the water is 1000. So multiply the volume of the water displaced with the density of the water. You will get your answer to be 60. So 60 is our answer. The weight of the man will be 60 kg. We have another interesting example over here. Well, that is important as well. It has appeared in government and bank exams. We have to calculate the number of bricks that can be used to build a wall. If the brick has the following dimensions, that is 25 cm, 11.25 cm, 6 cm as its length, breadth and height. We need to build a wall of the following dimensions 8 meter, 22.5 centimeter, and 6 meter. The length of the wall is 800 centimeter, and the breadth is 22.5 centimeter, and the height is 600 centimeter. After converting your meter values into centimeters, as we know, 1 meter is 100 centimeter. So the logic is very simple over here. To find the number of bricks that we need, we have to simply find the volume of the wall and the volume of the brick 
and divide the volume of the wall by the volume of the brick. This can be obtained by the formula length into breadth into height. So the volume of the wall is the length into breadth into height of the wall by the length into breadth into head of the brick. It is nothing but 800 into 22.5 into 600 by 25 into 11.25 into 6 which is nothing but 1 lakh 8000 Okay. Which is nothing but so 800 into 22.5 into 600 by 25 into 11.25 into 6. Multiplicate multiplying these we get the answer as this which on further simplification we get as 6400. Hence the number of bricks that is required to build a wall of dimension 800, 600 and 22.5 centimeters is 6400. That is option D.